sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath, so enough. and welcome to my let's play of Serena. Um, I found this on um, IndieDB, um, it was actually on the main page, and um, this game has actually gotten good reviews. And, Her photo yeah, is right there, maybe I could have another look. And, yeah, um, I did start it up um, before, just to make sure it works and it looks really good. Cause look how pretty it is, and I've actually um, think had like a full team and everything of people doing this, so. Yeah, basically, from what I know, this is a game about um, a guy who goes in search of his wife. One more try. I know it's pointless, but I need to do it. Okay, let's go and look at the picture. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? So yeah, he's obviously forgetting his wife. Okay, this is basically a point and click game, if you haven't already figured that out. And look at the animations. Oh my god, I love this game. It's like, it's so cool. And it's like free and everything. Because yeah, if you guys do want to have a play this game, um, I'll download the link in the des description. Because yeah, this is actually free, so... Let's look at this painting. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. Hmm. It's kind of sad. Okay, well, we can't look at that anymore. Oh, I just love these. It feels so smooth. Somewhere okay, that's here, in our private refuge, there must be something that reminds me of her. Okay, well, let's have a look at this. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. It's Can we open it? painful. I want to, but not yet. Okay, obviously you can't look at that yet. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I'm slowly losing my voice. Um, probably need a key for that. Um, we'll, we'll continue looking over this way first. This painting. Uh, that doesn't look creepy at all. I hope we don't have to go outside and find that. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Where are these, right? <laughs> I guess it's covered with grease and grime from cooking, mostly. Okay. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. A memory? What did we talk about? Damn this foul memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin, well... Along with the bed, of course. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. Okay, <laughs> we need to know. spot in the cabin, well, along with the bed, of course. Okay, you obviously repeat stuff. Ooh, creaky floorboard there. Hold on. I'm just wondering if there's like maybe a this floorboard. Okay, where have we got books? So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. Yeah, 
I don't see it. So, okay, never mind. So it might be meals <clears throat> important. Good red wine was one of the great pleasures <clears throat> in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate. Yet I don't feel hungry. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. I can sit on the chair again. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love. The oh, furniture we can came stuff with here. the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was, or is. I just don't know anymore. Okay, let's get off the chair. No, I didn't know this thing up here. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niyab of the ice blue eyes. Hmm, blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the land of youth and promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. Okay, that's it for this area. Let's go into here. And more squeaky floorboards. Okay, well, head to this wardrobe. Okay, that kind of froze there for a sec. It's a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan knees. She uses most of it. <laughs> of course she's a girl. Okay, there's nothing in there. Okay, more close there. How about down here? Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else in there. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Okay, fine. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside, and I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. Okay, what about She's this fairly Bible? religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. Okay, but looks like there isn't really much else in there. Okay, For some reason, slam. light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. Two days, three days tops, and bam, a brand new light bulb would burn out. She used to keep... Magazines, paperback novels, the usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. Wait, there's a drink catcher up there. Our Bread. refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Okay, let's head over this way. And look at the drink catcher. Unlike its sibling. This lamp would last for months. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. 
chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one, the ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. We brought the lamps with us when we got this place all those years ago. They were from a garage sale. Okay, what's in this drawer? Okay, I can't obviously look at them. Night right, hunting. Can you grab something? <laughs> um, she was yeah. <laughs> Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. Okay. <laughs> Let's just not look at that anymore. <laughs> okay, didn't expect to find that in this game. Okay. Let's <laughs> head out that wardrobe. Or drawer. Whatever. There's a okay. strand of blonde hair in the comb. Probably yeah. hers. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Mm. Mm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. Hers. I used it too, when shaven. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, so <laughs> this came in handy. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket, new enough to still have all its teeth. Commune Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. Okay, so anything in these drawers? Or these these keys? For the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? Hmm. Okay, let's head out that. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. Okay, it looks like there isn't really anything else in there. Um... Anything else I can look at? Well, well there's these drawers. Okay, there's a watch, some coins, more clothes. Um, what's in this one? Oh, Dears, a diary. How do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when we think about it. <laughs> and then he toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Oh, that was such a sweet letter. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. 
I think that's the moment I fell in love with her when she told me the soothing sound of her name. <laughs> oh, that was a really sweet letter. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Okay, I think we may have just gotten a memory. Okay, can we go look at the photo again? I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised. Oh hey, we got a face again. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Ooh, that's the clock timing. Looks kind of different outside there. Okay. Music sounds so nice. Okay, I'm guessing we're going over the clock now, because I heard that chime. To that. Why? You might just as well stay here. I should really stay. I'm so tired anyway. Guess that you to go to sleep. I automatically went to the window side and she took the one by the arm walk. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. This one is still moving. Yeah, we'll go forward. Okay, that was kind of creepy. I heard laughed at it. We seemed to take fewer and fewer walks as the years went by. Everything around here is so familiar. Everybody thinks that living out in the middle of a dark, dense forest is so romantic. Nothing but you and nature. Serena and I thought so too, once. That is, until the loneliness kicked in. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be. Arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. So can I check under the bed? I feel too restless to sleep right now. Okay, um, well where can we go next? Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. I almost had it. What was she trying to tell me? I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Okay, I have a feeling that they probably like lost a baby or something, or she couldn't get a child. Or get pregnant because there's no that well, I thought that looked like a crib, but yeah. Um, what else can I? How could I possibly forget the color of her hair like that, even for a moment? She was my girl with the sun in her hair. What's happened to me? I like to watch her comb her hair before she came to bed. But that was so long ago. At some point, I just stopped. Mm. Mm. I never noticed it before, but there's a tiny crack in it. Well, it's a hairline fracture. I still remember when this thing smelled of fresh paint. Proust wrote all his life about the associative power of tastes and smells. He spent his last years in retreat from the world, though, writing in a cork-lined bedroom. It's too tangy, too poignant. It brings it all back. Do I even matter to you anymore? Do you even notice anything I do? How I look? How I smell? We were happy for a long time. At least, I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing, even this. 
I keep looking at her things, remembering all the good and bad. Depends on how you look at it. Either a wonderful sensory stimulant, an aphrodisiac, or a subtle weapon in the mating rituals of Homo sapiens. We were happy for a long time, at least I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing, even this. There are no monsters under It's different. But that just, it can't be different. Am I going mad? I was just thinking that, because she doesn't look as happy. Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really have been so wrong about that night? Hmm, something's not She's right. angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I want to torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Oh, this just changed dramatically. You went from loving her to the hating her. This, these pathetic well, I <laughs> didn't expect that to happen. Okay, can I go back to the chair and see if anything else changed? This is where we had that talk. Damn. I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I will torture myself trying to remember. What's that there? Sit down, we need to talk. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all of it. How could I have been so blind for vanity? Always fixing her hair before bed. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm I'm being unfair. Could I have wanted her to be some front? Ugh, I'm too angry to even care. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? All of this, these... I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. It was a sore point for me. My thoughts are all over the place. Get it together, damn it. I Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else just for a while, but I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Unless she was the one who left. I want to torture myself trying to remember. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad, angry even. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's it's just not dark enough anyway. Sunlight. Bird song. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. The light is so dim here. It makes me want to chop down every tree outside. Stupid, feeble-minded woman with her silly, menial things. It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this, this sublunary distraction. 
She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. I'm too upset to even think straight. It's just a book. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Why would he want to go out of his mysterious ways to help me now? I hate her so much. I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them! Can, can I open it now? Wore, just to lure me in. Not even I these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire! What is wrong with me? How could I be so inconsiderate? Did this stupid lamp destroy my marriage? I, I... I... I will fix it. In case she comes back. I haven't got any bulbs on me, and, and I didn't bring any tools. It, what am I thinking? Why am I worrying about a stupid lamp? All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Oh, I can actually open this now. Oh, I didn't realize that. Box. What is it doing here? I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blindly drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Okay, what else is in this? Is this where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be anything else. Okay, so we have, um, what was it, a jewelry box. Now, this game has definitely turned out to be not what I expected at all. Okay, I'm wondering... What do we do with the, um... Jewelry box? Because I don't even know the controls to this. I want to know what's inside this thing. I just need to set it down somewhere or... I can sit down and open it. Okay, let's sit down here. Okay, let's put it down and look inside. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. 
I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No. I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. What? I can actually finally open this now. <laughs> okay, what have we got in here? Oh, fuck. Holy crap. Well, oh, fuck. Um. <laughs> My god. What is this? It can't. It isn't. Oh. Wow, did not expect that to happen. <laughs> Did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Mm. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck that wardrobe. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, this game is definitely taking a turn. <laughs> Those voices okay. sound like more than one person. What can it be? <laughs> well, why would they come after her being this? Okay, now I get to open this again. Okay, is there anything else in here? Apart from her? <laughs> okay, I'm leaving that. Are they coming for me? I deserve it, but I want to see who it is first. There's something about those voices. I must know. The window. Okay, let's I remember stumbling on this more than once, but she always insisted it be kept here. She did it on purpose. The sun okay, like is a silent death for some. Dehydration. Delirium. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's people outside now. You realize how stupid this was. We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, it couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Uh, but I'm bulldozers. still inside. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. We spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Um, I thought that was her body. Is that my body instead? Okay, I'm confused. Oh, shit. You forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll take it from the ashes. Oh god. No! Ah. No! Please! Oh fuck. No! Um... Oh, this isn't good. Now I get out of it. And there goes the photo. And that's the end. Well, wow, <laughs> did not expect that. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing that body in the wardrobe was my body, I'm guessing, and 
go outside was actually his wife. So, well, that's what I'm guessing. And then, like, I was, like, a ghost or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I actually don't know if there's actually, like, multiple endings or whatever, but, yeah. Well, this was definitely an interesting game. <laughs> I didn't expect that <laughs> it to turn that way. Wow. <laughs> well, if you guys want to go and play it for yourself and, like, explore everything, um, download link will be in the description. Yeah, this was really amazing for a free game. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just mind blowing at the moment. And the game is dedicated to our dear friend Serena Nelson, who graciously allowed us to use her name and likeness. That's nice. Yeah, I hope you guys actually enjoyed watching this and I really enjoyed playing it. And yeah, I just let you enjoy the credits and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.